Okay, welcome back to another episode of Ham Radio on the Go. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to quickly manually program a repeater into your Quanchang UVK5 with the IJV 3.0 firmware mod upgrade. That's a mouthful. Join us. Okay, I'm a big advocate of being able to program your... Uh, your ham radio gear manually in case of emergency or if you're in another location and you want to quickly out on the fly or out on the go quickly uh, program a uh, repeater pair or change some sort of setting on your radio to be able to do it manually there's nothing wrong with doing it on the computer with software and a manual uh, and a cable uh, using like software like chirp uh, but it's always something to say in case of emergency or if you're out on the go to do it uh, manually on the fly. And that's what I'm going to show you with the Quanchang UVK5 with the uh, IJV uh, firmware mod upgrade to 3.0 uh, version. So let's get right to it, everyone. Okay, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thanks for uh, watching. Today we're going to program, manually program a... Uh, a memory into your Quanchang UVK5. This one in particular is using the IJV 3.0 firmware mod upgrade. I'm going to show you how to manually put uh, uh, a frequency into your uh, memory uh, uh, selections there. If you're not using uh, Chirp or you're not using the supplied Quanchang uh, programming uh, software or you don't have a cable or let's say you're out on the go like we are on this channel quite often and you want to put in something on the fly this is how you do it. Let's get right to it. Okay, first we have it in uh, VFO mode. We have it on HF. We are on 10 meter uh, DSV, double sideband. We're on 28.400, so we got to do a lot of changes, but I wanted to show you uh, right from the beginning. So first and foremost, let's go into menu. You press M. Let's get out of double sideband. You hit M again. Toggle down to FM. Hit M again. And exit and exit out so we're out so now we want to go to squelch and, and get the squelch up let's go it's on zero so let's hit M again toggle up to let's say three hit M again now we got the squelch engaged we're moving along so let's go down to uh, mode we got FM transmit power we have it on high shift we're gonna leave it on off because I'm gonna program 14652 the FM call frequency offset is also zero all of these are going to be zero. Rece receive CTCSS, transmit, receive DCS, transmit DCS. It's all going to be zeros right now. So let's exit out, go back into uh, VFO mode, and you see we have it on 10 meters. So we got to get out of there. So let's program our frequency off the keypad. Now, it's hard to see, but there we go. I want to focus in on the screen. I'm going to hit zero. And 146520. And then we're going to hit the number 9, the call. And there we go. We're on 146520. Okay, we got the RIT function enabled, which is the number 8 button, which says R on the bottom. As you can see, it's 146520.9. Uh, That's for BFO. Uh, if you're on a shortwave radio, if you want to fine tune, so we got to try to get it down to 146.520 as close as possible. So we're going to hit and hold the R button. Actually, my error, you're just going to quick press. Nope. There we go. No. Hit the R button again. There we have the RIT function. There you go. So let's arrow down. As you can see, it's down to 40, 15, 90. Okay, so that's about as close as we can get for this demonstration, 146.519.9. It's almost like you're buying gas. So let's get out of there. Hit the uh, R again. Okay, but there we go. So let's put it into memory mode. Okay, we're going to hit the menu button again to get into it. There we go. Let's find channel save. Let's save it. Now, go channel four. Let's put it in channel four. Channel save. Hit M again. It's asking you, are you sure? Let's hit M again. Yeah, we're sure. Memory saved. Wait, we got it. There it is. You can see it's on channel four. So now you want to put a name on that. 
Let's put a name on that. So you toggle down to channel name. You hit M. Get in there. Now this is where it gets a little dicey for me. I've only done this a couple of times. There you go. So you hit channel again. Uh, you hit the M button again. Get you down to the second uh, graphic line there. So now we're going to put... You're just going to start typing whatever you want to put in here. Right there for two. Nope, screwed that up. Let's go back again. I'm doing this on the fly, so there's always going to be some mistakes. Channel name, hit M again. Okay, there we go. So now we're back. So we want to put two meter. I forgot the button to press to advance. Let's see if it is... Yes, it's the call button, number nine. Hit the call button, number nine, and get you to the next one over. And then you would go and put two meter, and then you would hit nine. Obviously, I hit nine by mistake on the first. Oh, no, that's not how you do it. Okay, let's get into channel four. Hit the M button, channel name. We want to go down to the next set of graphics, which we did by hitting the M button. Now we're going to arrow up and down for our... Alpha tag, we got two, let's M, move over, let's put two meter, arrow over, it's hard to find just the space, there you go, M over, move over, get it? So let's see, two meter, no, I went the wrong way, now I'm on the Let's go to, and you can fast forward this. It's all a learning process. There we go. We're on the capitals. Let's go to 2 meter FM. Hit the M. I think we have to go up to get the capitals. Okay, we got 2 meter FM. Let's hit M to move over and let's find that blank one again. It's coming up. M over. Move over. I like that. All right, let's find capital C. M. Let's move up. Oh, wait, let's do lower cap. Save some time. Two meter call. Two meter FM call. Now we're going to hit M. Are you sure? And let's hit M again. There you go. Channel four is now the two meter FM call frequency. Uh, I just have to fine tune uh, that RIT function and get it on 146.520. That's a quick explanation if you're on the fly and you want to program something manually into your Quan Chang UVK5 using the IJV. Uh, 3.0 firmware mod upgrade. Uh, check the description and uh, we'll, uh, we'll catch you again on another video here on Ham Radio On The Go. And thanks for watching everyone in 7.3. Hey, before you go, comment below and tell us about your experiences uh, manually programming this radio with the IJV 3.0 firmware mod upgrade. Especially that IRT function. Uh, I had some difficulty getting it locked in on the uh, zeros there, 146.520. Comment below, and uh, we could all learn as we experience and experiment with these uh, firmware upgrades that are coming out almost on the daily with the uh, Quan Chang UVK5. There you go. There you have it. Thanks for watching, everyone, and 7.3.